it's your girl straight like that so today we have another review and i'm pretty excited about this one i'm gonna tell you why here in a minute um but if you haven't uh, already go ahead and hit that subscribe button um and wait until the end let me know how you like this video uh drop me a like button and also make sure that you share my videos with everyone that you know uh, let them see what i'm doing over here i really appreciate the support and also comment down below um comment down below so i know that you've watched this video all the way through um let's see what do i want you to comment hit me a waffle yeah hit me a waffle down in the comments do like a little waffle emoji but anyways you guys um let's go ahead and get into this review all right so I found this waffle maker on Amazon. Um, I try to be a little bit uh, choosy on what type of appliances I get. I try to get appliances that are, you know, safe to use because you know those chemicals that be up in appliances, they're like forever chemicals. I try to be very, very choosy on what I get. Um, but I also want a waffle maker that makes a decent size waffle. Some of the waffle makers I saw make really small waffles. Um, so hopefully that's not the case with this one. I mean, I was reading the reviews and also looking at people's pictures in the in the review comments area down below on the Amazon page. And um, I think this one had a pretty good um, review and the pictures seem to be all right. It seemed to show that they have some you know, all right size uh, waffles. So I wanted to get this waffle maker because I've been wanting waffles so bad, but like the store waffles are just not, they're just, yeah, they're just not what I'm looking for right now. And eating a lot of processed foods is not good for you. And I've learned the hard way. Um, a lot of processed foods will make you sick. It will make you sick. It will tell your body that enough is enough. Um, so yeah, so I got this waffle maker, eh, as you can see, and it's supposed to make two waffle or, you know, two on each side and they're like waffle sticks on the side. And also um, it's supposed to be like safe or whatever. Okay, so you pour the batter in there. So pouring batter is no longer an exact science. If you have heavy handed with your pour, we've got you covered, no worries. Excess batter is no longer a messy problem. It's a delicious surprise. The overall channels will cook up the extra um, batter. So I guess that's where the little waffle sticks come into play on the sides and then plate your waffle creation, find the right Lighting, take 20 plus pictures, choose the best filter, post to social media, and most importantly, enjoy. And then, let's see, Minis Made Multi. Oh, I said it's mini. I don't know. We're going to see. Let's see. Cook your favorite mini waffle four at a time. So they are going to be mini. Man, okay. That's fine. Waffles are the same size as the... Dash mini um, waffle maker, ready, set, cook. Plug it in and the surface heats quickly and the indicator light lets you know when you're ready to cook. Family fun, whip up large um, batches of waffles in no time, perfect for families and entertaining. Recipe guide inside, less mess, more yum. Instead of dripping on countertops, excess batter cooks with um, into delicious waffle sticks and then quick cleanup, non-stick surface, it's made without PFOA, when I was talking about. So um, waffles release e um, easily and cleanup is a snap. So this is, it makes four waffles and it's a 1200 watt, just FYI. It has a two year warranty and has a non-stick surface. So yeah, we're gonna be making waffles today. But before we do that, um, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be using because 
yeah i just i can't just use any uh type of pancake batter now so here is the pancake batter i'm gonna be using one is for my husband and one is for me i'm gonna be using um this company if you can see this is gonna be his his waffles and then this is gonna be my waffles it is morning so i'm gonna make us some waffles this morning um i really do like this company um if you're like on a paleo diet, definitely get this. Um, but like, I know like with the water thing, like you have to be careful, even though like some of the packaging saying directly do like what they ask of, like when you're putting the water um, into the batter, like sometimes you kind of have to play with it because sometimes it can be over watery or it can be too, you know, like less, like too less, if that makes sense. But you just gotta be careful. You gotta kind of experiment with these type of things, especially if it's not waffle. If you're used, to, if you're used to like pancake batter as a certain consistency, like you really, really gotta pay attention to um, how you do it. But yeah, we're we're gonna be using this today. All right. So here, how um, the device look or the appliance? Excuse me, appliance look outside of the box. Um, it has a red and green light. I'm pretty sure this is probably self-explanatory, but I'm going to, um, tell you how, uh, to use it per the, um, instructions. And when you open it up, you have this part and that part. So, um, that's how it looks. And then it comes with the instructions inside of here Ta -da. and it also come with your little registration booklet as well so yeah and then when you open it this kind of gives you some additional information it shows how you need to open it always lift and lower the covers by the cover um handle lift from the side now if you do it this way you're probably going to get burnt so make sure that you follow the instructions then it says right here place the appliance on a um, stable and dry surface plug the cord into a power outlet the red indicator light photo a will illuminate signaling the um, signaling that the multi mini waffle makers heating up um, once the cooking surface reaches the optimal cooking temperature, the green indicator light will illuminate, um, like in photo B, now you are ready to get cooking. And then right here, it says carefully lift the cover by the, um, cover handle. And then for carefully lift the cover by the cover handle and spray both cooking surfaces with a small amount of cooking spray. So today I'm using some olive um excuse me avocado oil that we use so i'm gonna be spraying it with that um the aerosol um cooking sprays often contain um additives that can cause non-stick services to become st to become sticky and hard to clean over time so they really suggest that you don't use those like um uh, what's What's that spray uh, that you get in the store? What is it called? I don't know. It's like a cooking spray, but I know exactly what they're talking about. And then pour batter into each plate of the cooking surface and close the cover. Once the waffle is cooked to your, to your preference, carefully remove it from the cooking surface with a heat-resistant nylon, wood, or silicone cooking utensils. Note, do not use metal utensils to um, remove or place food on the cooking surface as this will damage the nonstick surface. When, you're, when you have finished cooking, unplug your multi-mini waffle maker and allow it to cool before moving or cleaning. So when you clean it, unplug, so unplug it and allow it to cool completely. Use a damp, soapy cloth, wipe down the cooking surface and cover. Thoroughly rinse the cloth and wipe again. Thoroughly dry the uh, multi-mini waffle maker before storing. If there is food burned on the cooking surface, pour on a little cooking oil and let it stand. Let it sit for um, five to ten minutes. Scrub the cooking surface with a 
um, sponge or soft bristle brush to dislodge food. Use a damp, soapy cloth to wipe down the cooking surface. Thoroughly rinse the cloth and wipe again. If any food remains, pour on cooking oil and let it sit, um, sit for a few hours and then scrub and wipe clean. Never use abrasive cleaning agents to clean your appliance as this may damage the multi mini waffle maker and its nonstick cooking surface. And then it just kind of gives you like, you know, the troubleshooting information if you're having is issues with it. They have a recipe guide. It um, talks about how you can you can make a omelet, a paleo, mini waffle. Um, I thought it was another page I saw. I think it's sticking. Yeah, there we go. Classic mini waffle. Yeah, omelet, paleo, um, banana bread, mini waffles, um, brownie mini waffle. And then it has some more um, recipes on the back, like a protein waffle, cornbread waffle, mashed potato bite, s'more biscuit, um, grilled cheese, and chocolate chip cookie. So yeah, um, very, very good to have some. Please make sure that you take time to read the instructions instead of just, you know, opening up your appliance and possibly um, getting hurt or wondering why it's not working correctly. But yeah, it's in there. All right, so right now I have it plugged up. I'm just gonna wait for it to heat up. So um, yeah, I'm gonna wait and then I'll come back. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the um, batter to go ahead and make the waffles. All right, so now we're able to go ahead and start making the waffles. So I actually have my husband here to help me because yeah, um, knowing me, I'll probably burn myself, but you're supposed to open it from the side. Like, not right over, because I guess the heat will, yeah, and then you have to spray it. So it doesn't stick. Uh-oh, my bad. Let me get out the way. Okay. And then go ahead and pour yours first. Yours will be to the left. And then the excess will go into those little spots over there. So you have waffle sticks if it's too much. And he's pouring his first. I think I poured too much on that one. Maybe make up over here. Okay, <laughs> like a it's gonna be going over like a cake yeah it's probably gonna go into the thing over there to make the sticks so you'll have pancake stick or waffle sticks it's pretty messy but it's okay don't try to be slick. Well, when you press it down, it'll go over there. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then. Mine. Mine's going to be to the right. See how it has like the little groove thing? Mm -hmm. So it'll go into that part. So you don't have to worry about pouring it in that. Uh, no pouring in this? No. Okay. Because it, what it does is when it's over battered, yeah. it... You It'll know. go into your yeah. energy. You ready? Yep. All right. It doesn't really say how long to keep it in there. So we're just going to eye keep an eye on it. And once they are like a really nice brown color or whatever, um, we'll take it out. But yeah, definitely going to keep an eye on it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and see how it's looking now. Go ahead. All right, so as you can see, if you don't spray the top, it's gonna stick. So we forgot to spray the top. But so far, this is how they look. My husband's getting mines out first. And 
now his. out just fine like a pig we really didn't have any exit like over excessive amount of the batter so it, we didn't get any waffle sticks unfortunately but it's okay um but yeah so far i mean it works pretty good um i would say well it was less than a minute uh, i'd say about a minute and a half about a minute and a half but yeah so yeah um so what we're gonna do next is just like turn it off let it sit and then we're gonna wipe it off um because we definitely don't want to mess up the um stuff that's on here that helps with the ceramic yeah the stick or whatever but yeah all right so here are the two waffles we have so far so if you want yours like you know fully fully cooked um i would say about two minutes um probably and it depends on the type of battery that you're using too so you're really gonna have to eye it but right now i've got it unplugged as you can see and I'm let it cool down and yeah and clean it off like it instructed because i don't want to mess it up and then we have a problem so yeah all right so i hope that you enjoyed today's review um if you would like to purchase this i'm gonna put the information down in the details and you can go straight to the website on amazon and order it off of there i don't think it was that expensive i don't think i paid over 50 dollars if i'm not mistaken but I'll make sure that I put the price down below as well. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And once again, uh, make sure that you share my videos with everybody. And also to let you know, I try to make videos like every Friday. So if you're interested, like next time I may um, drop a video, check me out on Friday. And also make sure you go and follow my Instagram page, which I'll have that information down below as well. But anyways, you guys, straight like that, we are out. Peace.